and um, commandment number seven, thou shall be singularly focused like Arjuna. And of course, no one knows Arjuna better than uh, Arvind because uh, a few years back, Arvind sent me a nice painting and the painting showed a guy with a bow uh, firing at a target. And I think the guy was Arjuna in the painting. So anyway, there's an Indian epic which was written a few thousand years ago called the Mahabharat. And in the Mahabharat, there is a one of the heroes is this great warrior and archer called Arjuna. Arjuna. And um, when Arjun was being trained as a as an archer, uh, his um, his teacher one day told all his students that he's going to have a practical test for them. And uh, he basically set up a, a long pole. And at the end of the pole, he put a fish, uh, you know, kind of a, a sculpture of a fish. And the fish had a, a tiny blue, couple of blue eyes, small blue eyes. Then he put this pole in a, in a kind of a pool of water, uh, a tub of water. And he told his students that he wanted them to look at the water to see the reflection of the fish and the eye of the fish and to shoot the eye out. So, and these were all kind of nobility, you know, prince, princes of different kingdoms. So the first prince steps up to take his test. And before he fires his bow, the teacher asks him, Dronacharya asked him, what do you see? He says, oh, I see the, the water, the pole, the fish. And uh, so the guy says, okay, sit down. You're not ready for the test. And then the second prince stands up. And again, the teacher asks him, what do you see? He says, I can see the pole. I can see the fish. I can see the eye of the fish. So the guy tells him, you're not ready to shoot. Sit down. And one by one, the different princes stand up. Tell them, tell their teacher what they see, and they're not allowed to shoot the bow. And uh, uh, finally, our hero Arjuna stands up, and he's asked what he sees, and he sees, he says that I can only see the center of the center of the eye of the fish. And um, so uh, Dronacharya tells him, "Fire at will," and uh, and of course he takes the eye out. And so one of the things, one of the lessons we need to learn from Arjuna is that we need to be focused like him. So anytime we're looking at, and especially when we're looking at these PEO1 businesses, usually there's more than one cloud hanging on top of the business. There are many clouds. And also uh, there are always a lot of macro clouds. And also, even if there are no macro clouds, there are macro concerns. And what we need to do is we need to be like Arjuna. We need to focus on the business and only the business. And we, so to figure out the future of an economy is really hard. Uh, for me to figure out the future of even state of California is very hard or even the county I live in, you know, just kind of what's going to happen. Um, so those are really difficult questions. So we have to simplify the world. And we, one of the ways to simplify it is to be like Arjuna, you focus on the business and you don't focus on the noise. And one of the things I, I noticed when I was in Istanbul last few days is there's a lot of noise. and if if one can get past the noise and focus on the business uh, and just consider the nuances of the business, things can become quite clear and uh, quite quite obvious. So uh, I did find a few things that I think we will pull the trigger on, but but if I were to if I were to look at those, the the macro situation, the country, or even the headwinds that the businesses are facing, there are there are significant headwinds. But if I'm 
if I'm buying at 20% of liquidation value or at such a small fraction of future earnings that, um, uh, and you know, like I said, these are, these are fantastic assets. So uh, focusing on the center of the eye of the fish is the name of the game. That's what we need to, we need to do. So do not get yourself distracted by looking at all kinds of macro things. I think you're best off ignoring all of them because anyway, you can't predict them. 